Hi everybody, it's PJ. I'm going by the U and D right now. I love that place. Um, oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. I was doing this new um, Hemi Sink meditation at night and I took another trip. Um, anyway, and um, so I'm like dreaming, but I'm very aware of what I'm dreaming. Could, I mean, I could almost say that it was a um, lucid dream, but the difference is, is my spirit guide showed up and he, uh, I have this one spirit guide. I only, I'm going to guess and I'm guessing that one of the spirit guides is the dark haired woman that's in the river that I always tell you about. Um, that I want to speak to her, but every time something happens, like right before I speak to her, so it's almost like I'm not allowed or I'm always prevented from speaking to her. And I've only done that when I only see her when the cabin's involved, the cabin that for some reason I end up at a lot. And, um, but, um, there's another spirit guide who is an Indian and, and he appears to me as like a nine-year-old boy a lot, but like twice he's appeared to me as an, a grown man. But it's the same person, you know, it's just how he comes to me. But he was grown in this one. This is the second time. So I'm in my dream. I'm walking through like a deserted town or something, but it's more industrial than so I'm walking down this road and I'm kind of scared. I'm like, well, it's dark, it's night, and I probably shouldn't, if this is, I, I wasn't scared. I was thinking this probably isn't the smartest thing for me to walk here at night. And um, I hear like footsteps, what I thought at first was behind me. And then I look over and it's him, it's this man. <laughs> In, I mean, I want to say he, Indian, like, like he looks like Indian, not American Indian, in, from India. And because when he has spoken to me a couple times, and both times, maybe like three times, and every time he has an Indian accent, but he speaks English, but it's broken English. So um, I'm walking down, I look over, and there he is. He's wearing a, a long white shirt. It looks like a night shirt. It's just white all the way down to his ankles and no shoes. And I said, what am I doing here? And he said, you're the one that wanted to come here. So I looked around and I was like, well, where am I? And he said, where nobody else is. So I said, am I alone? And he said, no, I'm here. So I was like, oh, oh. And I never thought to say, am I meeting somebody or something? So we keep walking. And there were times where he wasn't beside me. Like he would fade in and out, fade in and out. We come down to a T in the road. You know, we're walking on a road, like an asphalt road with no lines or anything. But it was like, uh, an asphalt road it was still warm I'm barefoot as well and it was warm and I'm like trying to notice everything because that's what I do when this shit happens I'm like looking for street signs trying to figure out what town I'm in like my mind is is trying to analyze it a lot so we come to this T and at the T um, there's cars parked there was nothing in this industrial type place but we're coming like out of it down a hill and out of it and as I get to the T I look one way I look the other and there's like cars parked and I should have gotten a license plate because I could have looked that up but I didn't think of it I hate that so I'm at the T and if you cross the T there's um there's always water in my dreams. I have a lot of dreams about water. But if you cross the T, there's like a guardrail and then water. But I don't know what water. And I said, um, I looked around for him and he wasn't there. So I started to walk and he says, stay away from the water. So I'm like, okay. Just like his voice, stay away from the water. I, and he says it in that broken English. So I stay away from the water. So I just turn left and start walking down. Now it's like row homes. And 
I say, where am I? Where am I going? And he said, you, you came here. You, you came here. So I'm looking and I'm like, am I in Philly? Because it almost looked like Philly, but not really. And um, so I'm walking down the T. I don't think I said, am I in Philly there? But once we started seeing houses, I was like, oh, I'm in like a town I know, but I didn't recognize it. So I'm like, so I said, am I in Philly? And he doesn't answer. So I'm like, I'm in Philly, I'm in Philly. And he's like, you need to go, like something said to me, not him, but something said to me, okay, you need to go home now. And I turned to go home and somebody else, when I turned around, to, I was gonna start walking back the way I came. I turned around and there's a man, not this guy, in the shadows on the street corner, like where I had turned down from the industrial thing, like watching me. And I was instantly scared. Like, I was like, <gasps> cause I didn't know I was being watched. Like other than my friend who shows up so I was like well and I stopped I wasn't gonna go any further and um I went to like cross the street again and the voice was like no I don't think he said anything again but I think in my head I said oh no I'm not allowed to go near the water and I couldn't go back. Like, whoever was staring at me, they were, like, obviously staring at me. They had on a short jacket. I could only see, once again, like, they're punched out or something of the world. Like, I can only see a silhouette. And uh, it was, like, a huge warning not to go any farther. So, I just woke myself up. I don't know I couldn't tell you like more so that's been plaguing me because I'm like why was I there he said I wanted to be there where did I want to be like and so I like constantly asked myself and somewhere along the line I had said am I in Philadelphia but I don't know if he answered me like I, it's a little fuzzy this time where usually it's not it's clear as day so lucid dreaming but my spirit guide was around being alone what does that mean am I supposed to not be alone I'm a loner like I do a lot of work I work a ton and I interact with people all day so when I get home like for enjoyment I just kind of want to be left alone because I, all I do is talk I want to make my videos and I edit my little videos so I don't know okay so that was one and two I had an encounter again with a ghost so a friend of mine who also happens to clean my house um, she was at my house last Saturday and she says to me, she's in the middle of cleaning, and she comes in. Now, this is a girl that doesn't really go with this. She's a devout Christian, and she pretty much stays away from what I play with. We've been friends for years, but she doesn't, you know, run down that path very easily. So, anyway, although I've read her, but other than that, like, you know, she, uh, yeah, it's not her cup of tea. But she's cleaning my house this is right after we went to John Edwards and she comes flying in my bedroom and said there was like an orb or something in your room she didn't even know what an orb is by the way like she's never even seen anything about this because that's just not who she is but she's like there was this big round white light in your living room and I, I, I looked up thinking what's that a reflection of like it was a reflection of something and the thing just started like getting bigger and I got scared and the minute I got scared it like winked out and I was like huh and I said maybe it was Jeff and she said mm -mm, I don't know I I think it's your father and I said my father uh, like I haven't felt him or smelled I like my sister smells ghosts but I, I think ghosts do leave an after aroma of who they were stuff like that so I, I was like really and she's like yeah and I said not Jeff and she's like no not Jeff so I had a couple little things this week that 
are pointing to more activity, which I love. I want activity. I want activity. I want Jeff to come back and talk to me. And uh, I want to have a conversation with him past that one conversation. And uh, it was so wonderful. It broke my heart. And so that's where I am. So those are the two little incidents that happened. The street walking, I have no idea why. I, I, maybe it'll connect to something later, but right now, like, I was just on a desolate street, and it felt like now time, by the way. Like, a lot of times when I travel, I very much feel that I skip around in time, and sometimes it's very present day, and other times it's past, and God knows if some of the other times have been futures, but but I skip. I feel like I skip in time. And this time, it was now. Like, the cars were modern, that kind of thing. Where, there's, like, when I go to the cabin, I almost feel like I'm back a little ways or repeating some things and and what's so cool about everything like that I do is that you just as a person not just because you hear stories or this and that, but I feel like everybody has a family a familiarity is that a word with what I'm saying like even if you don't believe in stuff like this to say you all are very familiar and there's something like deep in your core that says oh yeah i know what she's talking about and i believe that's because probably in like other lives or something you've experienced this stuff or you've actually done it yourself but you don't look at it the same way or whatever but it's familiar to everybody so anyway those are my two stories that happened recently um, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of video, a thumbs down if you don't. Either way, if you're watching. Manifest something good in your life, guys. Go get it. If you know it, think it, say it, believe it, you'll get it. So go get it. Go get something wonderful. It's all out there for you. All this shit's out there for you. All you gotta do is want it. Alright guys, I love you. Bye.